weather then, but uh, I tell you, we got some good weather for the today, at least the afternoon. Yeah, once we got past all the mess last night and early this morning, we're smooth sailing all the way through the weekend. And it's not very often that we get good news like that this time of year. You normally in March to early April, we get a storm system about every two or three days. But for now, things are nice and dry. 69 after getting some heavy rain overnight in Birmingham. It's 71 in Uptown, 69 in Vestavia, 62 at Docena. Still 70 in Mountain Brook and 70 in Trustville. Upper 60s around Chelsea, Pelham and River Chase. Alabaster is at 67 and Helena is at 72. And the farther west you go, the warmer it's been this afternoon. The farther northeast you go, the longer it's taken for the clouds to get out of the way. And it's not quite as warm in center in Gadsden and Anniston. It is points to the west and the rain. It's on the way out. There's still a few light showers in far southeastern Coosa County, but that is going to be it until we get to next Tuesday. So we've got a good long stretch of dry weather and relatively warm weather as well. If you need to do something outdoors, the next few days is going to give you a pretty good opportunity for that. Here's how much rain we've had. All the red here corresponds to about two to three inches of rain, mainly west of I-65. So you draw that line from about Coleman to Hueytown down to Union Grove westward, well over an inch of rain. East of there, it was more like a half to one inch around Calhoun County, Ohatchee. Only 83 hundredths of an inch. Gadsden was right there close to an inch, but the farther southeast you go to Clay County, Coosa County, Tallapoosa County, just not as significant. Tomorrow and Thursday, medium pollen counts, juniper, elm, maple, and of course, that greenish yellow pine pollen that's all over everything. And it just goes through the roof for Friday and Saturday. So if pollen is a bit of an issue for you, make sure you take some steps to mitigate that, to handle it ahead of time because this week's going to feature a whole lot of it blowing around in the breeze. Chilly tomorrow morning, nice tomorrow afternoon, but still a little cooler than normal for this time of year. High temperatures in the upper 60s. And even though Birmingham's in the upper 40s, it's likely to be colder than that at Glencoe and Garden City, Double Springs and Gwin tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, 70s closer to the south uh, toward uh, Rockford and Verbena, Millbrook. From Garden City up to Double Springs, we'll be hard pressed to get much above 65 on Wednesday. Good Friday looks nice. Easter Sunday, a little chilly early in the morning. Sunrise services would likely be in the low 50s with a mostly sunny sky. And then into the afternoon, we're going to top out around 79 degrees. Warm on Monday and then some more storms hit on Tuesday. Brittany? All right.